Welcome to Daily IQ. Today 21st October 2024. In this video, I will teach you top 20 current affairs MCQ with detailed explanation. Question number 1. World Iodine Deficiency Day is marked every year on. Answer is 21st October. Global Iodine Deficiency Disorders Prevention Day or World Iodine Deficiency Day is annually observed across the globe on 21st October to create awareness about the importance of iodine, an essential micronutrient. Iodine is a mineral that is found mainly in animal protein and sea vegetables and to a lesser extent in fortified foods like bread, cereals and milk. The recommended daily intake of iodine is 150 micrograms per day for most adults. Question number 2. The second edition of Sagar Kavach exercise was organized in the coast of which state? Answer is Gujarat. The Indian Coast Guard successfully conducted its second edition of the coastal security exercise Sagar Kavach of the year on 16 to 17 October 2024 across Gujarat and the Union territory of Daman and DU coasts the indian coast guard held its first sagar kavat exercise of 2024 on the 11th and 12th july 2024 along the coast of andhra pradesh question number 3 who has recently become the first indian woman to score 50 international goals Answer is Bala Devi. Footballer Bala Devi has become the first Indian woman to score 50 international goals. She reached the milestone in the match against Pakistan in the 2024 SAFF Women's Championship. Nagangom Bala Devi, often referred to as India's goal machine, is an Indian professional footballer who plays as a forward for the club Manipur Police and the India national team. Question number 4 The second National Lighthouse Festival in 2024 was organized with how many lighthouses Answer is 75 lighthouses The second National Lighthouse Festival will be observed across the country's 75 historic lighthouses on the 19th and 20th October 2024 To mark the start of the festival a lighthouse tourism conclave 2024 was held in Puri, Odisha on 19th October 2024. The first National Lighthouse Festival was held from September 23rd to 25th, 2023 at 75 historic lighthouses across the country. Question number 5, which state government has recently announced free dialysis for kidney patients? Answer is Haryana. The Haryana government will provide free dialysis service to patients suffering from kidney disease in the state. This was announced by Chief Minister Nayab Singh on 18th October 2024. The cost of dialysis is nearly 20000 rupees to 25000 rupees per month. Question number 6 which state become third to launch the Emperivan Citizen Sentinel app? Answer is Kerala Kerala has launched the Citizen Sentinel app designed to allow the public to report traffic rule violations easily Inaugurated by Transport Minister K B Ganesh Kumar the app is integrated with the Next General Emperivan platform Kerala becomes the third state after Chhattisgarh and Odisha to launch the Emperivan Citizen Sentinel app Question number 7 The second edition tribal art exhibition Silent Conversation from Margins to the Center has been organized in Answer is New Delhi The National Tiger Conservation Authority has organized the second tribal art exhibition Silent Conversation from Margins to the Center in New Delhi from 17th to 20th October 2024 The exhibition displays the art of 49 tribal artists living in the 22 national tiger reserves across the 10 states of India. 
Over 200 paintings and 100 art pieces made by the 49 tribal artists from 22 tiger reserves in 10 states was displayed. Question number 8. Recently, India has refused to join which country's One Belt, One Road project? Answer is China. In the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, SEO meeting held in Islamabad on 16th October 2024, India once again refused to support China's One Belt, One Road project. One Belt, One Road is China's most ambitious project. Its budget is 10 trillion US dollars. A part of One Belt, One Road is the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, which passes through Pakistan-occupied Kashmir, while Kashmir is a part of India. Question number 9. Who has recently become the fourth Indian to score 9,000 test runs? Answer is Virat Kohli. Indian batsman Virat Kohli has become the fourth Indian batsman to reach 9,000 test runs in the ongoing match against New Zealand at Chinnaswamy Stadium. Kohli is the fourth Indian batsman to achieve this feat after Sachin Tendulkar, Rahul Dravid and Sunil Gavaskar. Sachin Tendulkar holds the record for scoring most runs for India in tests. He finished his career with 15,921 runs in 200 tests. Question number 10. Who has been honoured with Humanitarian Award at 2024 Conscious Companies Awards? Answer is Mohanji. Mohanji, renowned humanitarian and spiritual leader, was honored with Humanitarian Award at the 9th Conscious Companies Awards held on 19 September 2024 in Johannesburg, South Africa. Mohanji received a special award for his global humanitarian leadership. The award recognizes his teachings on compassion, kindness, and nonviolence, which have impacted thousands of lives in over 90 countries. Question number 11. Who has recently won the UK Illustration Award for her artwork, Marigolds? Answer is Aditi Anand. Aditi Anand, a 25-year-old graduate from Angela Ruskin University, UK, has been named the winner of the prestigious Emerging Illustrator category at the V&A Illustration Awards. Her artwork, Marigolds, is set in India and highlights the theme of child labour and lost childhoods. Aditya's victory comes with a £3,000 prize and her work will be on display at the Victoria and Albert Museum in London until September 2025. Question number 12 who has recently won the 2024 WR Chess Masters Cup? Answer is Arjun Erigaisi. Grandmaster Arjun Erigaisi defeated Maxim Vachalagrave in Armageddon to win the 2024 WR Chess Masters Cup, picking up the €20,000 top prize and 27.845 circuit points. Arjun Erigaisi is an Indian chess grandmaster and India's highest-ranked player as of September 2024, overtaking former world champion Viswanathan Anand. A chess prodigy, he earned the title of grandmaster at the age of 14 years, 11 months, 13 days. Question number 13. India has recently doubled the grant to promote plantation education of which country? Answer is Sri Lanka. India has doubled its grant to 17.23 crore rupees to support the education of the Indian origin Tamil community living in plantation areas of Sri Lanka. Its purpose is to promote education in plantation areas. With the additional funds infused at the request of the government of Sri Lanka, India's total commitment to the project now stands at 600 million Sri Lanka rupees. Question number 14. IPS Ajay Singh has become the new DGP of which state? Answer is Dharkhand. On 19th October, IPS of 1989 Batch Ajay Singh has been appointed as new DGP of Jharkhand, replacing Anurag Gupta. Earlier, 
Election Commission has directed the Jharkhand government to remove Acting Director General of Police Anurag Gupta from his position with immediate effect. Question number 15 Who has been appointed as Chairperson of the National Commission for Women NCW? Answer is Vijaya Rahatkar. The Government of India on 19th October appointed Vijaya Kishore Rahatkar as the new chairperson of the National Commission for Women, NCW. She has become ninth chairperson of National Commission for Women, NCW. She has succeeded Rekha Sharma, whose tenure as NCW chief ended on 6 August. Question number 16. In which state, pink alarms have been installed in hospitals recently? Answer is Madhya Pradesh. In Madhya Pradesh, in a first of its kind of initiative, pink alarms have been installed at the government run district hospital and medical college in Datia. The issue of safety of women staff at public hospitals came to the fore recently after the rape and murder of a trainee doctor at Ajikar Medical College and Hospital in Kolkata. The pink alarm system is a brainchild of district collector Sandeep Making. Question number 17. The 24th edition of the National Para Swimming Championship was started in. Answer is Goa. The 24th edition of National Para Swimming Championship has been organized from 19th to 22nd October 2024 at the Olympic Swimming Pool in Panji, Goa. This year's championship is set to break records with 518 participants from 28 states or units competing. The event is organized by the Government of Goa in association with the Paralympic Committee of India, PCI, and the Goa Paralympic Association. Question number 18. The Indo-Turkiye Friendship Association, ITFA, was recently launched in which city? Answer is Hyderabad. The Indo-Turkiye Friendship Association, ITFA, was launched in Hyderabad on 16th October 2024 with the goal of enhancing bilateral cooperation between India and Turkey in various sectors including economic, cultural, tourism, educational and technological exchanges. Turkish Consul General Orhan Yalman Okan noted a significant rise in Indian tourism to Turkey with 3.5 lakh visitors in 2023, projecting this number to increase to 4 lakh soon. Question number 19. Indian Navy's first training squadron, 1TS, has departed from which country? Answer is Bahrain. The Indian Navy's first training squadron, 1TS, comprising INS Tir and ICGS Vira, have departed from Bahrain's Manama on 16th October 2024 after successfully completing its long-range training deployment. The Indian Navy ships had reached the Persian Gulf on 13th October. During the visit, members of the squadron aboard INS Tir and ICGS Vira met Bahraini military officials to discuss maritime security and future cooperation. Question number 20. IIT Madras is set to launch its first international flagship centre in which city? Answer is Dubai. The Indian Institute of Technology, IIT Madras is set to launch its first international centre for research and innovation in Dubai in early 2025. The IITM Global Dubai Centre will specialise in cutting-edge fields such as artificial intelligence, AI, data science, robotics, and sustainable energy. The Institute's plans to establish the centre in Dubai has been facilitated through an agreement between Indian Institute of Technology Madras, IITM, and the Dubai Department of Economy and Tourism, DET. Thanks for watching full video. You can join in our membership plan for daily, weekly and monthly current affairs PDFs. Please contact me on WhatsApp. My WhatsApp number is 9700200378.